The challenge of faithfully bringing a legend like the Leslie amplifier to the T-Rex 5 series of modules was certainly no easy task. The only way to succeed where others have fallen short was to combine two of IK's proprietary technologies, dynamic interaction modeling used for the amplifier and volumetric response modeling used for the cabinet. The result is the most authentic and lifelike recreation of this timeless classic in the digital domain. Let's take a closer look. The T-Rax Leslie module features a selection of five amps and six cabinets, both vintage classics and modern products, each with its own distinctive tonal character and look. The setup section is where some of the most crucial controls are located. Of course, the most important is the rotor and drum speed switch. Also the slow and fast speed controls, together with the acceleration and deceleration ramping times, are used for setting the rotating speaker behavior to your liking. Mic distance is another tone-defining factor, as moving the microphones closer to or farther away from the cabinet will vary the ratio between direct and room sound, together with different reflections and nuances, and thus a different tonal character. This section is where the tone of the amplifier and electronics driving the speaker section can be defined. Separate preamp gain and power amp volume and additional model-specific controls let you set a clean or more overdriven sound at will. The included tone controls let you sweeten it to fit the track. An input high-pass filter control is added to avoid too much distortion at low frequencies when the amplifier is seriously overdriven. In case you need even more control over the tone, the Leslie module for T-Rex features an additional post-EQ section with selectable frequency and parametric mids to sculpt the track or compensate for any source whose tone is out of balance. The center section of the module is where the different models can be selected, as previously shown, but it also sports two more sets of controls. Amp type and cab type lets you freely mix and match between the two sections of different models, actually pairing the amplifier from, say, a 122 with the cabinet section from a Studio 12, which makes for an even wider tonal palette.
The mic positioning control taps into the drastically different Doppler effect by putting the microphones in a 90 degree or 180 degree arrangement around the cabinet. 90 degrees is the most common and delivers a more non-symmetrical perception of the rotation, while 180 degrees, though less used, can be heard on many classic recordings. The last set of controls on the right is the mixer section, which lets you set the level and panning of two stereo pairs of microphones, picking up the horn and the drum sound respectively. Being completely independent, they can be adjusted from the default wide open stereo positions to a complete 70s style mono and anything in between, and also unlinked for combinations like a mono low frequency and stereo horn. There are many rotary speaker emulations. There's just one less than.